Police say he's an 18 year old carjacker who recently went on a crime spree, robbing a judge, ramming a handful of police cruisers and boasting about it all on social media. Our Chris Ty tonight reports on what happened in one wild day. Two Fridays ago, prosecutors say 18 year old Antonio Butler orchestrated eight crimes in 12 hours. And before the weekend was over, they say he stole four cars. As he sits in jail, we put the pieces together of what criminal experts call it was an exceptional case. It started 11 p.m. the night prior when police say he stole a 2011 Audi. In the hours that followed, he committed an armed robbery, they say, on West 16th Street at 4.05 a.m. 90 minutes later, detectives say he stole from a car on Western. An hour later, one on Ogden. 20 minutes later, he would enter a car and put a gun to the head of a victim at this ATM, taking money and their car. That was on South Levitt. 30 minutes later, another armed robbery, taking more money and a cell phone on South Marshfield. 30 minutes after that, they say he took another car from a laundromat on South Wood. Two and a half hours later, using that car, he committed what police say was his last crime of the night, an armed robbery where the victim got away on North Cicero. He then went quiet for 24 hours until authorities say police cornered him. He hit two cruisers to escape, went on Facebook Live to credit himself for getting out of that jam, only to make his way here to 35th and Ashland, where he stole the car of a Cook County judge. In the car, there are her judges. I got a Cook County judge ID as well as an Illinois Supreme Court judge ID. Last Friday, the alleged one man crime wave ended when he was arrested after a car he was a passenger in rammed cruisers in its failed escape attempt. You can bet that this case will get special attention at 26 in California from the judges sitting there when they find out that one of the victims is a sitting judge. They do protect their own. While a judge was a victim, the 18 year old's rap sheet shows his first carjacking was at age 15, his first arrest at age 12. He didn't learn from his mistakes. It didn't serve as a deterrent. It didn't serve as punishment. His next date with the system, experts say, failed him this Friday. Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. And Irv Miller says Butler's juvenile record can come into play if he's convicted of these new charges. Looking at his past behavior could lead to a longer adult sentence.